what I have here are nearly identical locks from two deadbolt kits. The one on the left is a Gatehouse branded lock, which is a Lowe's brand. The one on the right is a Defiant brand lock, which is from Home Depot. These locks really are the same on the outside. They're actually both quick set locks, um, just given the uh, store's unique branding. Um, using the same keyway, they're both five pins. Uh, a look at the locks, the construction on them, the markings, etc., will uh, cement the fact that yes, these are both the exact same lock manufactured by Quickset. What's unique about these locks is that this lock on the left, the Gatehouse, is $16 for the Deadbolt kit, and the Defiant is $11 for the Deadbolt kit. Um, you may think maybe there's nothing different between them because they're the same lock, but surprisingly, the Defiant lock from Home Depot, the one that's $5 cheaper, actually has three security pins inside of it, whereas the Gatehouse lock from Lowe's has all standard pins. So let's get into picking these two and we'll show the difference. open and that's basically how it goes with this lock one two three four five right down the stack nothing weird about it nothing fancy practically picks itself sixteen dollars up next is the eleven dollar defiant lock <clears throat> which comes with a few tricks up its sleeve So I'm actually going to head to the back of this lock first. I'm going to pick these. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to try to pick these blindly or pretend I'm picking them blindly. I know exactly which pins to go to. Uh, so what we have here on pin four is a standard pin. Notice that I just dropped into a false set. Uh, pin two is also a standard pin but the way it's cut, it's actually aligned um, while the pins are dropped. So I actually don't need to touch pin two on this. Um, and that's more a, a function of the key bidding than it is the lock itself. So if I head to the back, I've actually got a spool, some counter rotation and set that one. Head all the way up to the front to number one. I've got the same counter rotation. And set. Skipping over number two and going to three. Counter rotation set. Probably pin five dropped. It likes to do that. Uh, nope. Maybe pin one dropped. Yep. And it's open. <clears throat> so it's fairly interesting to me that these are the same lock from the same manufacturer. Um, one of them clearly better than the other as far as pick resistance goes. Um, but not only that, it's actually $5 cheaper. And when we're talking about 11 and $16 locks, $5 is fairly significant. <clears throat> now, these are easy to disassemble. You could throw an anti-bump pin in there in either of these locks and cover that really cover anything if you wanted to, but if you're not uh, into lock picking or have knowledge of locks at all, I mean, this would be the clear winner. Granted, you only do probably buy locks for your house once, so I really wouldn't advise either of these locks when right next to these on the shelves at both stores, you can pick up a quick set smart key or similar or have a locksmith come out and install something better. But pretty interesting locks, uh, especially finding out that they're actually different inside 
Uh, the fact that this is only $11 and is available at Home Depot makes this a pretty great practice lock that I would highly recommend if you're into lock picking. Um, you know, you can pick up American 1100s on Amazon or other places for about $11. Um, so as far as like value per challenge, it's it's not, you know, amazing. Um, but when you're down in that low of a price range, you, you really can't get much lower than that when it comes to buying locks. Um, so especially, you know, if you're not at the level of, you know, trying to pick one of these 1100s or something similar yet, um, I would highly recommend going to pick one of these up. This was a really fun pick, um, and I'm pretty tempted to go buy some more of them and see if they uh, change up their spool placement um, or maybe perhaps throw in some uh, serrated pins depending on the lock. Anyway, so there we go. Gatehouse versus Defiant. Winner, Defiant by a long shot.